Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. <laughs> I am here right now in my bed. <laughs> Lizzy, Lizzy, morning. Worshipping the Lord and praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are so good, Lord. You are so wonderful. You are so awesome. You are with us, in us, through us. In you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. I am so blessed, Lord. I am so blessed, Father, to... Oh, Shanakarara Sanakatea. Father God, to have you in my life and uh, Father, I worship you and so many miracles and wonder is happening, oh God. Look at my titties, they're sleeping. <laughs> Sleepy. Oh God, thank you and grandparents are sleeping right now also in the morning nap and uh, i'm supposed to go and jog or read god's word in the park while they're sleeping but uh, uh today is sunday so there'll be lots of people at the park or at the place that i used to go um earlier like yesterday i went there behind the house but i think i'd uh, rather stay here for a while and spend time worshiping and praying and so as listening god's word and also listening to the preaching hallelujah and it is just so beautiful to see all those beautiful clouds the buildings the cross yes the cross yes hey oh jesus thank you for the cross the mighty cross that god himself you die for such as us and every day we are changed into your image more and more yes by the cross we have truly been transformed yes lord with the power of the cross we are transformed from glory to glory from face to face hallelujah Thank you, Jesus, because of what you did on the cross, you died for my sins, for all our sins. Lord, you have said that for God to love the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in Jesus, hallelujah, whoever believes in him, in Jesus, should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, we are so, so blessed. We are so, so... Hallelujah. We are so blessed to have you in our lives, oh, Jesus, who loves us with unconditional love. Thank you, Lord, for your promised words to us. It says here that... God says, all things are possible. Yes, Father. And you are saying to us, I will give you rest. Father God, this is when we say it is impossible, but God says, all things are possible. When we say we are tired, God, you are saying to us, I will give you rest. When we said that we felt like nobody really loves us, God, you are saying to us, I love you. Hallelujah. When we can't figure things out, Father God, you are saying to us, I will direct your steps. When we feel we can do it, and you, can, you are saying to us, you can do all things. Amen. Through Christ who gives us strength. And Father, when we say that we are not able, you are saying to us, I am able. Yes, God, you are able, able to carry us through. Father, when we can't forgive ourselves, you are saying to us, I forgive you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And when we say that we can't manage, you are saying to us, I will supply all your needs. Hallelujah. 
Father, and we say that I'm always worried and frustrated. Father God, you are saying to us that cast all your cares on me. Amen. Thank you, Father. And God, when we say that I'm not smart enough, God, you are saying to us, I give you wisdom. Hallelujah. Father God, when you are saying to us, I fell all alone, you are saying to us, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Indeed, Father God, because the Holy Spirit in us, He will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, thank you. We praise the Lord and we glorify you, O oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise. Father, thank you. Yes, Lord, right now you are doing miracles and wonders. Hallelujah. Father God, you are a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. God, you are a miracle worker. <laughs> way maker god you are an awesome god you are here yes father moving in our midst yes lord you are in our midst right now when two or three are gathered together mm -hmm. in my name so you are in the midst hallelujah father thank you i worship you i worship you yes father you are here, yes, Lord, working in our midst, hallelujah. We worship you, yes, we worship you. <laughs> we worship you, yes, Father. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, lights in the darkness. My God, you are awesome God, yes, hallelujah. Oh, praise you, praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, God. We worship you. We worship you. You are worthy, Father of worship. <laughs> you are here, yes, Father God. Touching every life, yes, Lord. Touching our hearts as well. <laughs> Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. Yes, God. You are here. Hallelujah. Healing every heart. We worship you. We worship you. You are here. Yes, God. Touching every life, healing hearts, touching lives, turning lives around. Lord, yes, yes, turning lives around, Father God. <laughs> we worship you. We worship you. Father, we worship you. You are worthy, God, to be worshipped. You are God, an awesome God. Hallelujah. You are a way maker, miracle worker. You are at work at this moment, Father. Even when we don't see it, you are working. Even when we don't see it, you are working. And that's faith. <laughs> faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yes, even when we don't see it, you are working, Father. You are working miracles and wonders. Even right now, my Father, my Father, Lord, my, my physical, biological Father, it's a miracle that he had an operation yesterday. Lord, it is your miracle working hands, Lord, because it was impossible for him to be operated as his blood pressure, his sugar level, and also his oxygen level was, wasn't so good. Three times it, has been, it had been postponed, but because of your mighty hands and the prayer, hallelujah, you answered our prayer. As what you have said in James chapter 5, 16. The prayer of the righteous person prevails much and can do miracles and power and powerful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, so oh good, Lord. Oh, yes, Jesus. It's your miracle. And now my Father is doing very well. He is talking <laughs> and is so happy, laughing. And God, it's you. It's you, Lord. It's you. And so you are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Lord. Blessings and honor goes back to you, 
Father. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your love for us, you never failed us, Lord. You love us with an everlasting love, Lord. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails us. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. All our days, we've been held in your hands. Hallelujah. From the moment that we wake up, Yes, God. From the mm. moment that we wake up every morning, hallelujah, and every night time and throughout the daytime, Father. From the moment that we wake up until I lay my head <laughs> in my bed and we wake up in the morning, hallelujah. Oh, Father God, all our lives has is, been healed by you, oh God. Yes. From the moment that we wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful, yes, Father. And all my life you have been so, so good, yes, Lord. God is good all the time, amen, hallelujah. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. I love your voice. Yes, Lord, your voice. Your word of God, the voice. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. You have led me through the fire and in darkness nights. You are close like no, uh, no other. Yes, Father. I've known you as the Father. Yes, God, you are my Father, God. <laughs> I've known you as a friend. Yes, Lord, a friend who never leaves us nor forsake us. And I have led on the goodness of God. Yes, Lord, you are leading me. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's what the Word of God says. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, you have been so, so good. Hallelujah. Yes. And every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your goodness and mercy. Mm -hmm. And Father God, you never leave us, nor forsake us. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your everlasting love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify mm -hmm. you, O oh God. You're worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. It's so, so good all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a life to my path. Thank you, Father God, Jesus, for God so loved the world that He, that you gave His only begotten Son. We are so, so loved, O oh Lord. And you have a wonderful plan for us, Lord. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, sister, Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. Hallelujah. And we, will, we do not have to be condemned. We do not have to be discouraged. But we have, before the Lord God said, I have not commanded you. I have not commanded you. Be strong and of good courage. I have commanded you to be strong and to have good courage. Do not be afraid, nor to be dismayed, for the Lord God with you wherever you go. Have I not commanded you? Di ba sinabi ko sa'yo na you have to be strong, na kailangan mo maging malakas, and you have to be courageous. You do not have to be afraid, not to be dismayed, for the Lord God with you, wherever you go. Yes, Lord, you are in my room right now, Father God. Oh, bless you, Lord, because you have said also, Jesus himself said, Hallelujah. But the time is coming, he is saying to the, to the Samaritan woman, Indeed, it's here now. When true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, the Father is looking for those who will worship Him that way. For God is spirit, and those, so those who worship Him worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Thank you, Father. And Jesus said, again, it says here that, 
Believe me, dear woman, the time is coming when it no longer matter whether you worship the Father in this mountain or in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And so whether we worship her in my room, <laughs> oh God, or in the worship center, or in wherever it may be, it doesn't really matter. We worship God in spirit and in truth. That's God. God is looking for a person who will worshiping in spirit and in truth and it's also good to 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 be worship together in the congregation because it's really good but for some of us that who really cannot go because of circumstances and that cannot be avoided we can worship wherever we are <laughs> hallelujah thank you father come mga mahal let's continue on reading god's word in the book of actually yesterday another we read chapter four and tonight today we will be reading chapter 5 and also chapter 4 continuously we're reading on this chapter this one we have not read this yesterday we read this yesterday there is only one god amen hallelujah the lord god jesus <laughs> almighty father god hallelujah the power of the holy spirit the father the son and the holy spirit they are one and that's the only one god we have thank you father oh we bless you lord and let's carry on reading Eastern Cities of Refuge, chapter 40, uh, verse 41 of chapter 4. Dear Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 41. Let's continue read this. Then Moses set apart three cities of refuge eastern of the Jordan River. Anyone who killed another person unintentionally without previous hostility could flee there to live in safety. These were the cities, Bezer, on the wilderness, Plateau, for the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth in Gilead, for the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, for the tribe of Manasseh. Introduction to Moses, second, second address, because Moses is repeating this, He's addressing this to the people. And this is the body of instruction that Moses presented to the Israelites. These are the laws, decrees, and regulations that Moses gave to the people of Israel when they left Egypt. And as they camped in the valley near Beth Poer, east of the Jordan River, this land was formerly occupied by the Amorites under King Sihon, who ruled over Hishbon. But Moses and the Israelites destroyed him and his people when they came up from Egypt. Israel took possession of his land and that of King Og of Bashan, the two Amorite kings kings east of the Jordan. So Israel conquered the entire area from Arover at the edge of the Arnon Gorge all the way to Mount Zerion, also called Mount Hermon, and they conquered the eastern bank of the Jordan River as far south as the Dead Sea below the slopes of Pishka. Ten Commandments for the Covenant Community So Moses called all the people of Israel together and said, Listen carefully, Israel. Hear the decrees of the and regulations I am giving you today. So you may learn that you may learn them and obey them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Mount Sinai. The Lord did not make Hallelujah. The Lord did not make this covenant with our ancestors, but with all of us who are alive today. As a mountain, the Lord spoke to you face to face from the, from the heart of fire. I stood as an intermediary between you and the Lord, for you were afraid of the fire and did not want to approach the mountain. He spoke to me and passed, it, passed his words to you. This is what he said. I am the Lord your God who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. You must not have any other God but me. You must not make for yourself an idol or of any kind or an image of anything in the heavens or on earth or in the sea. You must not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, I am jealous God who will not tolerate your affliction for any other gods. I lay the sins of the parents of upon their children the entire family is affected even children in the third and fourth generations of those who reject me 
but I lavish unfailing love for a thousand generations on those who love me and obey my commands. Amen. Thank you, Father. You must not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The Lord will not let you go unpunished if you misuse his name. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy as the Lord your God has commanded you. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. On the day, on one, hallelujah. On that day, no one is in your household may do any work. This includes you, your sons, your daughters, your male and male servants, your oxen, donkeys, and other livestock, and many foreigners living among you. All your male and female servants must rest as you do. Remember that you were once the slaves in Egypt, but the Lord your God brought you out of his strong hand and powerful arm. That is why the Lord your God has commanded you to rest on the Sabbath day. Amen. Thank you, Father. Honor your father and your mother. Hallelujah. As the Lord your God commanded you, then you will live a long full life in the land of the Lord. Your God is giving you, and you must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you must not testify falsely against your neighbor, you must not covet yourself, your neighbor's wife, and you must not covet your neighbor's house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your promised words. And uh, our land, male or female, servant or oxen or donkey, or anything else that belongs to your neighbor. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. We praise the Lord and we glorify you. Oh God, thank you for your command words. Oh God, we will continue to read this tomorrow. Hallelujah. So powerful, Lord, that indeed you are the God. Hallelujah. That you must ha we must have not any other God, but only you, the true living God. Hallelujah. By the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we praise the Lord and you... Glorify you, O God. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen.